Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 4, my favorite version of Civ of all time. We are playing as Asuka of India here on Monarch Difficulty, and we got ourselves three little cities. We're 74 turns into the game. Things are starting to shape up. We got our first wonder. We did our Oracle Slingshot into the, um, what is it called? Code of Laws, which is a huge deal. We've got ourselves the founding of two different religions. Uh, here's something interesting. Oh, that's right. They say, hold on, weren't we missing a religion? Th did someone convert? But no, no, the Maya still have their religion. It's we currently don't have a state religion because we were boosting our, um, our culture over here in VJ. But we don't need to do that anymore. So we'll flip back. Uh, I can't remember. I think there's still a cooldown to making these changes, even if we're spiritual. But again, there's no revolution because we're spiritualists. So we can do these moves that normally aren't an option. Although what I could do is I could decide to... That's an interesting question. I could decide to go Confucianist instead of Hindu. In a sense, for a happiness point of view, it's going to come out exactly the same. Uh, Delhi's got both religions, so it's going to get a point of happiness regardless. Um, and neither neither Bombay nor VJ have an issue with happiness, so it doesn't really matter what we go. By keeping the holy city the of our state religion further to the front, we will keep benefiting from culture over here, which is actually maybe going to be a little bit better. Um, I think there's more religion spread from the holy city, which means it might increase the chance of spreading here. What we kind of need is some roads and some open borders, I think, really, with our neighbor to uh, really help it go if we want, um, unless we're just thinking we're just going to go to war with them, in which case it doesn't matter what religion they have. Um, I guess there's no reason to flip right now. We may as well keep milking the culture from both cities and maybe get an extra border expansion. I mean, I don't know if it's relevant in Delhi because they've already gotten theirs. Yeah, the next one's pretty far away, but I definitely don't want to switch to Hinduism right now. Um, I either want to stay neutral or stay with Confucianism just so we can get another border push. Yeah, and 11 turns over here, which is going to be lovely. It's going to give us extra defenses. Right now we got a plus 20% boost. It'll bring up to plus 40%. Um, and yeah, just make sure to secure a little bit more territory, a little bit more vision, much better position overall. So I guess there's no reason to switch at the moment. And then we can see what happens with some of our neighbors before we commit since it's not making a difference right now, unless I'm forgetting something. But I don't think it is. If we run into a happiness issue, then we might go and embrace one of the two religions just to make sure we get the happiness. But for now, we're good to go. Let's go to the next turn. Running 100% science rate, running a deficit right now, but that's fine. Delhi's going to grow again, which is groovy as well. We are running the science specialists over here and generating a lot of great people points. You can see the percentages are starting to shift. It had been just 100% just great profit, but now that's going to shift and it's going to keep moving in the scientist's favor because we are producing more scientists than anything else. And we're still happy with either one. I'm going to go and park you in this city. And as for you, I think we're waiting till we build a wonder. Yeah, we're going to go and just do some more pre-chopping. I haven't decided if I'm going to chop the flat land yet, although I may want to just because I might want to just cottage this up. Because I think we'll... Hmm, that's actually an interesting question. I was going to say, because we're probably going to want to go cottage economy. Maybe I don't. Since there's not a lot of green grass over here, we're not well positioned to run some cottages. Right? Now, in the capital, there is, but also the capital is well set up to be a great person farm already. Now, if we want to do a uh, specialist economy, what we really want to do is run representation, which gives us three extra science per specialist period. Now, to do that, we need constitution. Alternatively, we could build the pyramids they haven't been built yet. And they haven't. Now, we don't have stone, and someone might be working on it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This pyramid unlocks all the government types. And that's the real pro move to do an early specialist economy. I don't know if that's in the cards. Uh, open borders, Korea. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, if we could spread a religion, Korea in particular would be nice to spread the religion too, because we're not directly adjacent to them, and it'd be nice to be friends with them. And certainly we wouldn't want um, uh, Judaism to spread to them, uh, and then forming a power block, the Maya and Koreans against me. Again, I don't really care too much what happens to the Incas, and they'll probably get one of our religions regardless. So yeah, I'm just going to pre-chop this hill here. We're still going to work towards iron working. And if we have iron, if we don't have iron, that's going to tell us we're clearly going to go a pacifist route because we're not going to have early military units that are going to be helpful. You are going to rush that archer, my friend. And yeah, you have no unhappiness at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to wait here. If we're going to build a wonder, it'll probably still be in our capital. You should hammer your iron when it is glowing hot. Is that lovely iron sound. Okay, so we would get a plunk sound if we had one within our board. Oh, we should get one over here in a second. Yeah, there it is. Source of iron. I didn't hear the plunk sound. 
maybe I mentioned it. Um, Delhi is going to become unhappy because it is an unhappiness cap, but it's also burning off things, and that's fine. Um, that's within our borders. We can work it. And with our border expansion here, which is going to come in six turns, we'll get a second source of iron. Now, second source of iron is mostly just going to be a backup rather than anything. Now, there might be a period of time before barbarians actually do enter your borders. I'm not sure. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move my archer here. It'll have a nice defensive position. The plan is going to be to move my worker up here to um, mine that. But I don't want to move... Well, actually, it's fine. The archer can't move up to this hill right now. So we may as well move up and start the mining. And it's going to be defended by the time things start to be a problem. Now, generally what I like to do is I like to use my archers to defend my cities. And I just put out my warriors who aren't that strong just to fog bust, just to provide some vision in areas to prevent barbarians from spawning. They're vulnerable if the barbarians are out. But they're great at preventing the barbarians from spawning in the first place. Okay, you move that way. That's interesting. You can't threaten anything immediately. I'm hoping what you do is you decide to attack up this hill. There's a chance we lose, but it's pretty unlikely with the defensive bonus and everything from the hill. Uh, what am I doing? So I might move this archer here. Let me put you back in the city for a sec. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, you resume plan of sitting somewhere up here and doing some vision. You go back into the city. And... Four turns. It'll take you. It'll take you a few turns to get over there. Yeah, just build a road to the iron. That's gonna be great. Okay, uh, this archer stay on the gold for now. Mind that. I kept getting interrupted by the barbarian bearing nearby, which is fine. We're working towards aesthetic, which does have the Parthenon, which is great for increasing birth rates. Right of great people. It's in all cities. It doesn't matter where we build it. Although ideally, maybe you build it in a place you want your great people farm because it generates some great people points itself. The artist great people points aren't going to be as valuable to us unless we're going for cultural victory, in which case I guess it is. But it might be a good thing for us to build in Bombay as opposed to the capital so we don't dilute the great people point generation with artist points that we don't actually care about. That's something to consider. Okay, Archer is done. I don't think the pyramids are viable to build, even though it would be great for our specialist economy. We could start start building courthouses just to also guarantee we've got some espionage points going on. Um, you know what we need is we do need some more workers, so I'm going to build that there, especially since you're not in position to grow right now. I'm not going to finish this farm, or this, um, this mine. I'm going to come down here, and probably another farm or two, and then we go nuts on cottages. Actually, if anything, we'll probably just farm this tile. That's the plan. This warrior is going to leave the city and just come over here again. We're just doing some fog busting just to prevent barbarians spawning there. Now, we can get some experience points from fighting barbarians, but I don't know if it's worthwhile. Now, this should be connected to our network. I don't know if we can tell here, but if we click on a city, we do have two sources of gold because it's next to a river, so it's getting that, so we don't have to worry about anything else. That being said, I do want my cities... I mean, they are connected by river, so we have trade going on in these cities. You can see here. So every city has, at the start of the game, one trade route that it connects to any city. Domestic trade routes don't tend to be worth very much money, but we don't have any other options. Um, international trade routes tend to be more, worth more, especially if they go over oceans, and there's other things we can do. Plus, and then later on, we'll also have, uh, we'll increase the limit of trade routes per city. Actually, for now, I think I'm going to come over here. I'm going to build a camp on the elephants for ivory. And then I do want to build roads between my cities just for fast movement. Even though we don't need it to actually activate the trade, it is going to be quite nice. I think we've got enough money banked up that we should be able to make a push all the way to aesthetics. Um, or, sorry, all the way maybe to literature without having to lower our science spending, which is nice. You can see our great scientist, our great person, we're going to get one next turn. And uh, the, the stats might change again. I'm not sure if this is it or it'll take one more tick and then do that. But it looks like it's going to be about 60-40. Um, that will get a great scientist. Let's see what we get. Again, I'm fine with either one. Great scientist first is probably better. We got the great profit, which is fine. So every great person can be expended to generate a golden age. While it's running, we generate extra production, commerce, great people points, and there's no anarchy from government changes, but we're spiritual, so that part doesn't matter. But this is quite good for other people to use. Every great person can also be expended to uh, generate tech towards a technology. 
Um, so over on the left-hand side of this view, we can actually see what the great scientists of each type would do. This, I believe, is also part of the bug mod. Um, I, be I can't remember why it shows two, current and future. There we go. Um, they usually match, but I think if the prerequisites for this would reach, there's something like this. So right now, light bulbing, and you can see the order over here, light bulbing the great prophet would give us meditation, which is three turns of tech. We definitely don't want to do that right now. Um, but sometimes it can, a, a, a timely light bulb can actually be fantastic. The great prophet light bulbs are probably the least useful, but you know, there's still tech. There still can be something and that might be okay. Um, later on, it won't give you the technology instantly. It'll just give you a certain amount of research towards it because they get expensive, but early on, they will give it to you instantly. Still, that's not what we want to do uh, with this person. The other thing that all the great people can do is join a city. They will join a city permanently as a super specialist. They don't consume any food, but they will give you some amount, some kind of production. In this case, uh, profits will give you two hammers and five gold, not commerce. They can't be converted to money. It's just raw gold to the treasury, although that tends to mean you can dedicate more of your commerce to science so it does kind of convert to some science um and if we were running something like representation they would also be worth three science as well uh which means joining cities as great people is very powerful notice these great people here that like these permanent specialists these super specialists don't generate great person points in and of themselves which probably fair just for balance reasons um and then in addition to that most great people can also do one other unique thing usually build a building in which case the great prophets can build a special building in the holy city of a religion um and in this case what these special buildings do is they give us one gold per turn per city with that religion uh it also spreads that religion which is good i think what we're gonna do is, since it does help push the spread i'm gonna go and send it to vj over here and we're gonna build the confucianist city and just try to spread confucianism out of there there's there's no difference between confucianism and hinduism in civ 4 all the religions are literally exactly the same um but the, just so happens this this holy city is closer to my opponents and this would be a better way to spread the religion to them so that's what we're going to do and we'll probably commit to switching to confucianism ourselves and if nothing else i might want to build one more confucianist mon a missionary just to spread it to bombay so religion will auto spread to empty cities but after that they do have to be spread with uh, missionaries. So yeah, this is going to be set up to do a farm thing. That's going to be fine. You're going to camp out over here and just do fog busting. Okay, granary finished here, which is great. And yeah, maybe we Temple of Artemis over here. Oh, this, okay, this is the trade route yield and a free priest, which is a powerful little thing. Um... Pyramids, 100 turns, still not great. I think you might build um, whatever the, the building was from Aesthetics, the one that gave us great people boost, which should be good. I think what you're going to do first is you're going to build another fast worker. That'll bring us up to a total of five, I think. Um, we, have, we currently have three. Okay, it's going to bring us to a total of four. Yeah, which is fine for now. I probably do want a fifth fairly early. Oh, no, sorry. We have three already. We're building one over here. So yeah, we'll go up to five. That's, yeah, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Um, and we'll prop, we'll want more as we continue to build cities. And actually, we could expand right now. Oh, plopping out a couple other settlers would also be valuable. Let's do the, the worker first. And then I think we're going to do two more settlers. We've also got access to the iron here. And again, fairly soon, actually now, we've already expanded to the iron there. Okay, good. Yeah, I think two more cities for sure. And we do want to keep going with these rushes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And you still are running two science specialists? Indeed you are. Good. Um, you're not... Hmm. Yeah, the vision's not as good as I would like. If you pull back over here, and that doesn't help. If I move here, that actually is maybe the trick. I do need a few extra archers as well. I don't like that our enemies are stronger than us, but I think we still have some room to play with this. Okay, let's let you grow back to four, and then we'll start that settler. Same thing here. We'll let you grow uh, to three, and then we'll start a settler over here. Courthouse would save us some money. The library is also pretty good. I think we're going to go for the archer, though. I think I like that. And then here, um, probably same logic. Maybe get up to a couple of archers per city. I'm going to feel okay. Yeah, just stay there. That's going to have to be fine. All right. You are hooked up here, which is good. I mean, we're not working that tile right now, which is fine. It's still going to give us the ivory for happiness. Not that we need it right this second. I think what's going to happen is we are going to 
Start going down here. And like that, there'll be slightly different road paths, but that's okay. And you're gonna come over this way. Okay, great profit. So yeah, you're gonna build the Kong Meow over here. Again, they're all the same. This will give us more culture. Um, and yeah, one money per city and it will be auto, it'll spread confusionism, which is good. It also gives us uh, priest slots that we could use if we wanted. Mostly again, that would be if we got representation and had our special generate extra science for us. Okay, you still need to spend one more turn doing something. I think I'll just put one turn into like a temple, let you grow to four and then we'll do something else. And I think what I might do is I might try to settle here and claim this before the Incans do. And we're going to want to maybe park an archer on this just to make sure we're safe. Yeah, build me one more over here. You go there. You stay here. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Uh, actually, move over here. There we go. So we still have two blank spots where things could spawn, but it's not much. Incas, oh, converted to Judaism. Actually, oh, everyone did. Okay, so now we have, now they don't currently hate me because I don't have a religion. I have no state religion, so they don't hate me. The second I embrace something other than Judaism, these guys are gonna get pretty cranky with me. Um, so we could stay neutral. We could wait until they spread Judaism to at least one city and we could actually convert and join the Judaism block. But really what we wanna do is we wanna spread Confucianism and Hinduism everywhere, even if we don't convert people, although we probably will want to, even if we don't convert people, as long as it's present in the cities, our buildings will generate a lot of cash. What we might need actually is we might need to pick up, um, Organized religion, I guess. Because then, yeah, if we go monotheism, we get organized religion as a civic, and it lets us build faster everywhere that's got a state religion, but also it lets us build uh, missionaries everywhere for any religion that's present there, which is pretty valuable. Yeah, I guess I did do another whip. I still want you to grow. Okay, yes to open borders. I'll help us with the religion spread. Art for art's sake yes to is aesthetics. an empty phrase. Art for the sake of truth, art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. Don't do that this is the faith yet. that I am searching for. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Let's. Oh, you're on the cusp of growing in. We'll do this. I'm just going to feed the production into the settler. That's what we're going to do. That quote was not read by Leonard de Moy. That's because it was from one of the expansions, so it's actually read by Sid Meier themselves. Okay, we can build Axemen now and Swordmen. Thing is, defensively, we're not too bad over here. Uh, you're going to grow in one turn. What I think we'll do is we'll start, we will start with one Axeman, and then, yeah, we're going to switch to a Settler over here. Bring us up to five city. I might want to go to the fifth city, sixth city immediately. Our economy is definitely going to suffer, but we can build courthouses, and then we can start plopping down some cottages too. All right, this uh, iron is hooked up, which is great. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a position to start clearing those hills. Right, so you farm that and did the chops. We're going to come over here and we're going to finish those chops is what we're going to do. And just to rush that settler. I mean, unless I can... No, I can't whip it. Yeah, more open borders is great. Boom, settler production. Pyramids was built, yeah. So I, I didn't... I, at the stage of the game we were in, I was pretty sure the pyramids were not going to be viable for us. That's okay. We have enough food for now. I think we're going to have to start plopping down some more farms on some of these tiles to keep you growing as you work more of these hills. So we're going to want food and production in DJ. That's going to be its primary goal. Oh, um... I want you to build the barracks before we finish this. So, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and throw a settler in this queue. Yeah, and we're getting the chops, but you're going to get that one already. I don't know. I'll come here. We'll do the chop. You won't work that mine, but it's still going to be okay. And you're going to do this. So you're shrinking now. So what we have to do is we have to pull off one of our specialists to do that. Because we shrank the size two, and they were both working on specialists. So 
we need you to feed yourself. I don't know if it matters so much while I'm building the, uh, the settler. Okay, so I'm not going to finish the chop on that. Um, they're a great person farm. It feels like what you should have is maybe a couple of more grasslands be farms in slightly higher value food centric tiles. And then I think everything else is going to get cottaged for the long term. I think in practice, that's actually what's going to happen. Okay, literature in four turns. We're still running the deficit, which actually grew a little, but that's okay. Chop that. And then this settler, yeah, I'm going to go down here first. Not necessarily the, the richest of the city sites, but it's going to be fine. The wine, the wine will come as our borders expand. I'm not too worried about working it. It's mostly about having it as a luxury and as a trade good. That's going to be fine. Okay. Um, now, you're going to build the... I'm assuming you're going to build the Great Library. Yeah, so I want Delhi's population to grow to help build a wonder a little faster. So I don't want to go and do the whip there. Right, and you are going to go back to a settler, or go to a settler. Build. And we're going to go immediate with a granary for growth. You got a settler, you've got a settler. Perfect. Temple of Artemis has been built in the faraway land. That was the one with the trade, right? Yeah, that was okay. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. I think the thing to do now is pick up Alphabet and start doing some aggressive trading to maybe fill in some text we don't have. All right, you're done there. I'm going to come over here and farm that. Oh, VJ can rush this. We really want to do Oops. That. We're not going to go and rush things in. Oh, right. This will happen um, because it goes through the name list in order. And because Delhi doesn't exist anymore, because it's GP Delhi, then it's going to try to use this name, which is going to be somewhat confusing. Um, what I want is a list of Indian cities by population, because it's generally going to go in that order. Um, looks like Bangalore, which we don't have yet, right? Only Bombay, VJ, Bangalore over here. Okay. Done, done, done. Um, yeah, the only place I can do a rush is in Delhi, and I want you to grow because you're going to need the extra production base. Uh, actually, hmm. Yeah, I need you to build this now. Yeah, we might still want the Parthenon, but the Great Library, 35 turns. Production focus, but you're going to still do this food for now, which is going to be okay. You're going to grow. You'll do that. That's going to be fine. And when Bombay finishes the Settler, yeah, I think what you're going to do is you're going to get working on this Parthenon. We're going to have to spread out the production a little bit. But it's another Marble Wonder, which we do have Marble, so we can get some extra production. So that's really handy. You are going to... Chop this. I mean, you've already got the settler on the way. Could leave it unchopped for a bit, and we can just pick it up later. We are going to need a bunch of courthouses, because as the number of cities goes up, the maintenance everywhere is going to skyrocket. Yeah. So as for you, we're going to go and secure this spot. Now, there is a scout over there. I don't expect them to just declare war to grab me. They could... I don't really expect it, which might be foolish or naive, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to start finishing some of these chops here. In fact, I might want to send my... Um, I might want to send my workers to do more chopping around Delhi to lock down that great library. Now, it's happening pretty quick regardless. We'll accelerate that courthouse, that's fine. Yeah, you're going to settle here. Instead of Delhi, you're going to be Hyderabad. Thank you. And yeah, start with the granary. That's fine. I will do this. It means we've got a lower population for working on the Parthenon. 
but I want to get that final settler up. Oh, there we go. Trade to start. Oh, you have alphabet. Ah, what do I think of this deal? Give you code of laws for monarchy. Monarchy's not worth as much, but it's still pretty good. We're going to do it. A multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler. We don't need to go to caste system king. right now. We may as well go to hereditary rule because it's still low upkeep. And again, it's a free change for us. We weren't the first to alphabet, which I don't love because I like being the primary tech broker. Farm that spot. Cross here. And we'll just do the chop immediately. And I think, yeah, this settler is going to go over there. Here. And we'll do another quick chop. This is what we get for not having enough money. We could take this option and have our library be worth one science for this game, but I guess the, the, the one time injection on alphabet is actually not a bad deal here. Just do the direct chop, and then you are just going to go and farm or move forest. That's going to be okay. Oh, you can get far farmland over here, which is actually very useful. And here, and yeah, I still think this place needs is going to need a lot of food to sustain everything else. Okay. Ooh, great spy was built somewhere. You're going to fortify up in Hyderabad, in Hyperbad. Chop, chop, chop. Great library. Yeah, can't be rushed yet. We do want to production focus you. We'll switch that afterwards. So right now we're maintaining our budget at 60%, but as soon as these last two cities go down, uh, we'll be lucky if we can even run 10 or 20% tech. But it'll help with the courthouses because that's going to free up some money. And if we do start to get some cottages down, that'll also help as well. Okay, um, VJ, I do want a library because ultimately we're kind of going to want one everywhere, but I think VJ has to... Um, fulfill its role as being a military focused city. It's got itself. Oh, it doesn't have a barracks yet. Build the barracks and then start spamming out some units. So instead of Delhi, you are going to be Shanai. Oops. Shanai. And Granary for growth. The border is expanding over here, which is okay because it means barbarians can't spawn there. So we'll just go and settle back here and finish that shop. And, okay, I think next turn we'll be able to sack pop for this. I wonder if we just cottage these spots. I think I talked about having one more grasslands farm, which I'm going to do. Then I think after that we're going to start cottaging. Which, again, if this is doing great person farm stuff, the cottages might not come into play so much. But I think I'm going to do that anyway. All right, we're going to... Continue to do this. Remove the production focus. Okay. Yeah, we'll just fortify up over here. That's going to be fine. And, oh, the next thing is going to be some mass chopping around Bombay. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. So, again, we might want Monothium just for organized religion. Clearly someone has it, so we can just try to trade for it. And that'll be a thing. Getting metal casting for the forge is really good. Getting currency for the market is really good. Um, forge gives us tons of production boost everywhere. The market improves our economy even more. Um, actually, getting machinery for... I mean, crossbow is pretty good as it is. Um, and then windmills and watermills are really good. We mostly, especially the windmills, perhaps. Uh, one of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to lock down philosophy early. And the reason is this. Philosophy leads to another religion, Taoism. Um, and yeah, you know, more religions, we can do good things with it. Um, but one of the other things, too, is once someone has Taoism, the AI is not going to value researching philosophy very highly because the religion is already gone. And philosophy is a requirement for liberalism, which is somewhere right here. So liberalism requires philosophy. First person to re research liberalism gets a free tech religion. So if they aren't going for philosophy, they're not going to be able to pick up liberalism and it opens up some good possibilities for us. So I can kind of foresee us going kind of in that direction. Uh, apparently we need something else for it. Metal casting, currency. Oh, meditation. Okay. But what we're going to do is um, construct the barracks. Good. Let's get at least one spearman here, please. So we're going to go to the tech view and see. So... Call wants aesthetics. Now, he might want that to build a wonder, but in theory, we've got a little bit of a head start. He'll want it less once we've built the wonder. So I'm fine with taking this and offering them for a bunch of catch-up tech. Let's 100% do that. He's happy with it. 
Meditation brings wisdom. I am the Lord thy God. Lack of meditation leads Thou shalt ignorance. have no other God. No man or woman leads you, you forward. Feed him for a I know it's getting a little loud. Now, one thing we can't do is we can't trade for anything that had a prereq of what we just traded for this turn. So if we wait one turn, there'll be more things in the list. Now, mathematics, uh, 373. I mean, certainly with aesthetics, we could do it. But I think I might wait a turn and then see what else we can... Um, what else we can pick up? Or is it just what's in there can't trade? Like Monotheism. So we'll be able to pick up Monotheism via trade next time. But as far as I can tell, no one has metal casting. So you can't trade literature, Monotheism, or meditation. You know, this, we might be in okay shape here. Um, let me kill this for a sec so we can bank up a little bit of money and then we'll go and send it back. And yeah, we've got the Great Library. Wonderful. So the Great Library gives us some culture, great scientist points, and just two free scientists. We have these two guys working here for the rest of the game, giving us three science each. And these aren't super scientists, they're regular scientists, which means they also give us more great person birth rate. So the library, or sorry, the great library gives two by itself. And then these guys here are giving us three each. So that's eight great scientist points, or eight great people points, all great scientists for the rest of the game. We might have a little bit of a hard time getting our profits to pop, but that's, that's okay. We, I mean, we're fine with it. We already got one profit. We still want either one another one. And if we do get Taoism, a third one would be nice just for making cash as we keep spread those. But we're going to be okay. Now, we did unlock organized religion. I think there's no reason not to go for it. Um, the other thing is, since we have hereditary rule and we've got happiness for military units, we can grow our cities big, which might mean slavery is obsolete at this point. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do the last batch of little whips. And we're going to move out of slavery because the other thing we can start getting now is slave revolts, which would be bad. I don't think there's any reason for us to go to caste system at this time. Uh, this becomes much more valuable if we do have representation. So I'll just pop back to tribalism, which has low upkeep instead of medium. But we'll pick up organized religion, which does have high upkeep. But we can build missionaries everywhere and cities with our state religion construct faster. Now, we don't have a state religion yet. Mostly because I'm a little bit worried about what's going to go. But we are going to start spamming down some missionaries. Oh, I also really want a national epic in Delhi. So we double its birth rate. That's our national wonder. There's no competition, but we're definitely looking to build great people here. Even if we don't send a set scientist back up here, right? We're still generating some from this plus all our wonders. So we're going to do that. We probably will run some science specialists in a scooch, but maybe not quite yet. You're connected to a trade network, which is good, but you do definitely need some improved tiles. Um, we we'll want at least a couple of farms. We've got a couple of high food tiles. Actually, if all we do over here is farm these three floodplains, this could be useful as just a great person farm. Not a very high value city, but it's going to be okay. All right, Spearman is done. Um, I think we will... I do want to build up my military because I don't like where we are, but we are going to spam out some missionaries. I think that's going to be kind of important. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and start chopping down your foresty hills. Oh, I was going to go and chop the Parthenon. That's what I was going to do. Okay. Um, trying to remember that this next turn. Uh, I just I just moved you up. Yeah. You've got to come over here. And that's one turn. Okay. So you can just finish it now, which is good. You are going to come here. You are going to come here. Good. And yeah, we'll just do the immediate chop in these three places. Good. We'll have to replace those later. But yeah, we're going to chop down all the forests around Bombay to rush the Parthenon because there is someone who could compete with it now, right? Someone else has got aesthetics because we traded it away. Speaking of trade, I should look here. Yeah, look at this. Um... Huh. Wait, you I've got this wrong. You want organized religion. We have it. The only thing you can give me is mathematics. Okay. So we're going to look at whoever's at the bottom of the score list, which is Korea. We're going to look to trade with them. So I'd like mathematics. Um, what do you want for this? Now, because we don't have currency right now, we can't fill this out with money. How would you feel about just aesthetics? Yeah, you're fine with it. And I'm fine with trading this away. We've already given it away. If in other sciences we get we more production from chopping now, doubt and truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. So it also gives us the ability to build aqueducts, which is going to be nice for health if we need that. And then we can build the hanging gardens in a place that does have aqueducts, which gives health 
in every city and plus one pop in every city. The later you build the Hanging Gardens, the better because growth becomes harder and harder as you wait, but at the same time you get beaten to it. Although you need the Aqueduct first. I don't know that I'm going to prioritize that wonder. I'm not usually too worried about the health cap, although I say that. Early on, happiness is the problem. Later on, health does become significantly more important. But overall, not too shabby. I think we'll go and put a cut in here. And yeah, Confucian Missionary, which we might use to spread Confucian in Bombay. Or in practice, what I might do is just send it into, say, Incan territory. If nothing else, the missionaries can act as a little bit of scouts for a moment to give us some sighting over their stuff. Since we do have iron and we do have a differing religion, part of me wants to go to war here. The problem is it, the other people will get cranky if I declare war on their friends. Um, but it feels like we're kind of going to be forced to do it. In fact, what we may want to do... I think it still makes sense to get metal casting, but I'm wondering about beelining engineering after, which does require amount of pickup as well. It means not picking up currency, but maybe we can trade for it. But we can go straight to trebuchets and then use them to plan a war. Swordman plus trebuchet should be pretty strong. Mostly it's going to be the trebs doing all the hard work and the swordman will be walking to the city. But that might be the best plan. And then we might just go on a conquest of our continent since apparently religion differences did show up. Uh, we've got a military deficit to the Incans, but we basically have no troops. We hadn't built any. If we if we just build like three more units, we'll probably be tied, especially if we're building um, strong ones like Axemen and Swordmen. So um, we're done this. Currently, our break-even point is still at 50% research, which means I really could be pretty comfortable plopping down another city, but there's not really a strong location for it. All the places I had dot mapped currently have a city. The north is... Workable. Oh, wait, there's one more over here. Which would be fine, actually. Which actually brings us to six, kind of sweet spot. But also, if we go and take cities, then that's going to be a whole other economy thing. But we haven't built our courthouses yet, so we've got lots of capacity for expanding, which is kind of a nice spot. And I'm worried that I'm too safe for expanding. Score-wise, we're doing well, but we have built a couple of wonders, and certainly that's going to contribute to the score. Um, we should, I think, get this one as well uh, with the chops. We can't do the um, We can't do the pop rush anymore. But that should be fine. I think we're quite happy to expand our cities. Again, we can raise, raise our happiness simply by parking more military units in there. So we can start to support some bigger and more productive cities. The thing is, because at the start of the game, you have such a low happiness cap, you can't really grow your cities very much. So you may as well convert population to production uh, via the civics. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy where we are. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.